plenty of picket lines and I think Labour MPs uh, will go and I think the rules allow them to go. I think for those MPs who are on the front bench they have collective responsibility and the leader has asked them uh, not to go. I think that's a mistake because the history of the Labour Party is that when people are trying to fight to save their uh, standards of living and their conditions at a workplace, Labour MPs, whether they're on from bench or, or not, uh, instinctively want to go and, uh, and support them and will do. So I think it was a mistake to hand out that instruction. You say Sam Tarry was uh, sacked for going on a picket line. Sam Tarry, I think, chose to get himself uh, sacked uh, for doing interviews which had not been authorised. As a member of the uh, front bench team, you have to uh, get authority before you do interviews and you have to toe the line. Uh, and he didn't. He wasn't sacked for going on a picket line. He was sacked uh, for not abiding by collective responsibility. And I think he wanted to be sacked because <laughs> he's going through a rather difficult uh, reselection process. Great. I was going to ask that because how the, it came across, oh, he, he did an interview or he, he spoke out of turn, as it were. It did sound like, you know, uh, Keir Starmer was dancing on a pinhead and that wasn't the truth. And I didn't know if that was Keir looking for an excuse to get rid of him or whether Sam wanted to. So do you think that's what it was, really? Yeah, I think... The Labour Party has always had a sympathy for people who rebel against uh, the leadership. They tend to be fond of, party members tend to be fonder of rebels than they are of uh, the leadership. Uh, Sam uh, is going through a reselection process to be uh, the candidate in the next general election in his Ilford uh, seat. And I don't think it will do him any harm uh, to have been disciplined by uh, the leader. So that's what he looks looks like to me from a distance as though he wanted to be sacked. It, it seems to me, though, Keir's got himself into a little bit of a model because I looked at Keir's 10 pledges, how he became the leader, and one of them was working shoulder to shoulder with the trade unions. And then on a, a quote that he put out, he goes, Labour's party is in opposition, but really it needs to be the party in power and a party in government does not go on pit picket lines. It's a government that tries to resolve disputes. So is that his problem? Keir doesn't know which way he's facing now. Is he using the promises uh, which he got, became the leader of the Labour Party for, or is he going to use his, his, what he's thinking he needs to do be, to become the leader of the country? I think he's making a substantial point that if Labour was in government, and it looks more likely now than it did uh, two years ago, that uh, we could win uh, the next election, then if people go on strike in the public sector against the Labour government, it would look very strange if government ministers uh, were uh, picketing against themselves. So I think that's a substantial point. The world has changed quite dramatically, partly because of COVID, but mainly because of the war in U Ukraine and the inflation that's followed it. So I'm not uh, surprised that uh, Kiev is... Uh, responding to those changes. I'm disappointed uh, in, his, in his stance on public ownership. I think some of the changes have been unnecessary. Some are in response uh, to a changing world situation. We yeah. might need a, a quick answer here, Graeme, because to everybody else, it just looks a bit weak, doesn't it? Sam Tarry's not allowed to do something. Lisa Nandy is allowed to do something. He's sort of just... So, you know, falling, as it were, or going with the wind. And, you know, um, you know, is that really what it's about? He's a weak leader of your party. No, I think quite, quite the reverse. Sam Terry was not, as I understand it, sacked for going on a picket line. He was sacked for not following uh, the rules on collective responsibility, which all from bench uh, spokespeople have to do. Graeme Stringer, thank you very much for joining us uh, today.